Hi guys, it's Miss Erin from the Upper Saddle River Library. I am back with Make It Monday. Today we are making a moving fish. It's pretty fun to play with. I've been toying with mine since I just made it and I am about to show you guys how to make your own and what you'll need to do it. Let's get started. A glue stick, a sheet of paper. If like me you only have white printer paper then you'll need something to color with and scissors, which I totally forgot to show, but you definitely need a pair of those. Since I only have white paper, I'm coloring the entire thing all over. I chose blue. You don't want a fully rectangular shape, so we're gonna alter the shape of the paper. Watch the fold that I'm doing and do that, and then we're going to trim off the excess. What I'm doing is I'm actually just folding that excess leftover paper over, a couple times, really sealing it in so that I, I get a nice crease and then I'm going to rip off that extra piece. And when we unfold it, we'll have more of a squarish shape. Open up your page and then follow along with the fold that I'm doing. You are trying to get it as close to that crease as you can. Unfold your sheet of paper and then you want to fold it right along the very centermost fold like this. So get your scissors and about an inch away from that very bottom, very narrow point um, along the folded edge, you want to make cuts uh, right up to that fold in the very center. Be as careful as you can. If you go a little over that seam, that's okay, but we want to stop right about here. Then unfold your paper, fold in these two triangular shaped folds. Cover one flap with glue, and then you're going to line it up with the other that's parallel to it and start sealing it together. If you want to trim along the very edge here, this is gonna be the top of your fish's mouth. Take some leftover paper, color it in. I decided to make it pink to look like the inside of the fish's mouth, and you can Turn it over, put a little glue on, on the very edge like you can see me doing, and then you can pop it inside the bottom. Then make a slightly larger piece and also attach it to the bottom. I also trimmed mine. Next you can make some eyes. I used the cap of my glue stick to trace some, and then I colored them in a little bit, used a glue stick to attach them. What you can do is draw some fins on an extra sheet of paper, color them in, cut them out, and use your glue stick to attach them. I also made a tail. I held up the sheet of paper to the end of the fish to get an idea of how big I wanted it to be so it would fit the size of it. Now you have a moving swimming fish. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you have a wonderful week and stay crafty.